Hey, Drew, congratulations on becoming a Bronco. Hey. How does it feel? Uh, it feels really good. Um, you know, after yesterday's defense that went down, and, uh, you know, it was a rough day. But, you know, I, got, I went back to the hotel, sat in my bed with some of my friends and family, and you know, the sun came up today. And, I'm a Denver Bronco, so. Well, you're a Bronco, but you're channeling silver and black with your outfit. What's up with that? <laughs> no, I, uh, it's actually, it's actually, this outfit was picked like five minutes before I left to, right. to go watch the draft. I just had a t-shirt on, came downstairs, my mom and I were like, what are you wearing? <laughs> I, 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 stuff like this. I thought it'd just be us in the room waiting to get picked and get on the phone and, and just go be with my friends and family, but I'm glad I ended up putting this on because it came a little more than what I thought. I'm not sure you expected sooner, but, but did you think the Broncos were in the mix the whole way? Um, that was one of the teams we originally started looking at for sure. Um, just uh, we thought it was a good opportunity for you know them to pick a quarterback, and you know, that I got picked by them, being able to learn from Joe Flacco, the Super Bowl winning quarterback, I just, it's going to be awesome. How much contact did you have with Denver through the whole process? It was there for sure. Um, hey Drew, move that top, mic closer to you. Because of that sound, yeah. There you go. That's better. Yeah. Um, it was there was there was quite a bit. Um, we talked we talked here and there, and then when I went on my visit, spent the uh, spent the day with the big dogs while I was there. So I felt like there was some legit true true interest from them. Oh, it added a lot for sure. <laughs> um, it added a whole lot of chips to the shoulder. Yeah. Um, I think I said it earlier, it's more like a, like a full Pringle. Now, like a full <laughs> There's a lot of chips in it, and it's, it's ready to get to work. Hey, you know, on that note, the organization of the coach that coached you in the Senior Bowl, you now play twice. Is that extra added incentive? I'm, uh, I'm happy Gruden only got me for a couple days. He doesn't know, <laughs> doesn't know everything up my sleeve just yet, but uh, I'm, yeah, that's going to be cool. I think it's even cooler to be in the AFC West and get to go home to Kansas City, get to play the Chiefs, get to kind of end up being the bad boy. You know, I grew up as a Kansas City kid, went to Columbia to play for the University of Missouri, and you know, now I can't do anything else in the state of Missouri. i got to go to Denver and uh, come back and come back and be the Chiefs one day. Where were you when you got this? Why did you choose to come back? Yeah, I was actually, um, well, my flight was going to be going out Saturday anyway, so <laughs> I was going to be here. But um, I, we did it in CAA's. Um, uh, headquarters here in, in, in uh, Nashville, and uh, sat up top with in a big, big broadcast room and, uh, with my family and friends, and waited for the call. It was, it was pretty, pretty cool. You brought seventy people here. Your dad told me, or uh, thereabouts. Are they still sticking around? Yeah, they're still around. Not all, of them. not all. Of them. A couple of them had, a couple of them had flags to catch tonight, but uh, it was, uh, it was good. Uh, the people that I needed to be there were there, and my friends and friends and family. I'm, I'm happy that, you know, I got to be in that room with everybody because not everybody was there yesterday. So it made that experience uh, even better today. How do you look forward to competing with Joe Flacco? Say that again, sir. How do you look forward to competing with Joe Flacco? How does it feel to compete against Joe Flacco? Um, it's going to be awesome. It's going to be awesome. Regardless of you know, the situation I went into, I knew there would be an opportunity to maybe play right as I got to an organization. And there's an opportunity to learn behind a really good quarterback. And, got behind a, a really good quarterback now and won a Super Bowl, get to pick his brain and, and figure out what it takes to be a really good quarterback like that. Have you met him before? I have not. What did John always say to you on the phone? Uh, that he was really excited. He was excited that I was going to be a, a Denver Bronco. And I think looking back at it, it's like one of the best quarterbacks of all time wants you to come play quarterback for, for his organization. And not only his organization, but the team he also played for. Uh, it's just, it's, it's pretty surreal. Like yeah, that's that's really cool. I saw them them pick Dalton, and I was like, dang, because I, you know, it's, you keep an eye on the teams that you think are gonna draft a quarterback. Sat back in my chair. I was like, All right, we'll see what happens now. Does that take and I saw the trade come in, and I was like, oh wow, here we go. And then I looked down, and it said Denver, Colorado, and you know, there's a couple of videos out there of me celebrating. But does that take a couple of Pringles off? It does, just a little, maybe one, like a half. Okay. Just because I was hungry or something. But it's, uh, yeah, it's been good. The, the fist bump that you gave out right after you found out, describe the emotion. Yeah. You know, you, you think about all all the time, like you're, you're going to have your phone sitting there, and you're going to see the city pop up. And I was looking the whole time when, that, when the clock was running for it to pop up, and it never did. So it was literally like all the emotions ran out of you. I didn't think the next team was going to pick a quarterback, so I was getting ready to walk away. 
and then you hear it on the TV that they traded. And so, like I said, it popped up. Everything, like literally, all the emotions came out after that because I was at, I was pretty low at that point. Mm -hmm. Not draft the quarterback, shoot, and it all came back pretty quick. Some of the guys come in here and said that they dealt with the waiting a different way. Some played video games. Some were playing games on the phones. What did you do to pass the time? Were you just staring at your phone or were you trying to distract uh, yourself? Yeah, while we were here, we played a couple games in Yahtzee. Um, Yahtzee was a big deal for us um, on Friday nights um, in the hotel, and then, fr and then Saturdays we played night games. We played a little Yahtzee, got around my friends, went to have some good food, and just uh, just try to pass the time as, as best I could. Hey Drew, if you were an Avenger, who would you be? Oh, if I was an Avenger, who would I be? Gosh. Um, Why am I blanking on the name? Hold on, get that out. Let me, let me think about it, because it's literally my bio. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm freaking out. I'm freaking out. Guardians of the Galaxy. Um, oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, Star Trek, Star, 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 Star Lord. Exactly. Yes. I would, I would be Star Lord, because yes. um, I'm not from Earth, I'm from Missouri. So that's what he says in the movie. And that's my bio, and that's who I would be. Of course, of course. I'm, I'm, I'm so happy that I came. Um, like I said, last night was a whirlwind, but I'm, in the end, I'm, I'm really happy I came and had you know, some of my family members here and you know, my good friends. Hey, congratulations. Yes, yeah. Yeah, I like the pre